Hey guys, it's Elise and get your chopsticks ready because today we are making sushi. Candy sushi, actually cookie sushi. The sushi is gorgeous, it's amazing and it's no bake. The things you're going to need to make your candy sushi today, I've got a little bit of white chocolate. I've got some really small white sprinkles. These ones are generally called non pareils. I've also got a bit of desiccated coconut, but if you don't love the taste of coconut, you could use a longer sprinkle, just still white. Some finely crushed chocolate sandwich cookies. You can use any flavor you like, but you want them to be dark. And you wanna finely crush them in like a food processor because they need to be super, super fine. I've got a little bit of milk chocolate, some whole whipping cream, which is cream with about a 35% milk fat. For my candy decorations, I've got some little red candy balls. I've got some jubes. I've got some Starburst candies and I've got a little tiny Swedish fish. I'm also going to be using one shortbread biscuit finger today and a little bit of baking paper. Let's get into it. All right, the first thing that you want to do is you want to take your cream and you're going to pour it over your chocolate. So this is essentially going to make a ganache. I'm going to put that in the microwave for one minute and then give it a stir. It should only take about one minute, but you may need to give it another 30 seconds if it's not quite all melted. So when your little mix comes out of the microwave, you should just be able to stir it through. And you'll see my cream there kind of mixing with that melted chocolate, creating a really quick and simple small batch of chocolate ganache. I love ganache for a cookie pot because it holds together beautifully and it helps it to set a little bit firmer than if you use just a regular frosting. So once your ganache is nice and smooth, you just wanna pour it over your cookie mix. And I kind of like to do this by eye. I kind of like to put it through and then just give it a little stir and then add more if I need it. What you want to avoid here is a dry mix. You want quite a moist mix, but if you put too much in, it can end up being a little bit greasy. It's almost perfect, but I'm gonna add just a bit more of that ganache. Beautiful, so that's the kind of consistency that you're looking for. You can see when I pinch it, it sort of holds its shape. You don't want to go any wetter than that, but you certainly don't want a dry mixture here. So I'm gonna take a piece of wax paper or baking paper now, and I've got quite a long piece, and I'm going to scoop my mixture out onto the baking paper. Beautiful. Now, just using my hands, I'm just going to sort of stretch that out. What we're going to make is like a long sausage of cookie pop, essentially. And then I'm going to use my baking paper and I'm going to roll it over and I'm going to use my fingers to kind of tuck it back. This is going to help to give me a bit of a circular shape or a bit of a cylindrical shape. The one thing you do want to try and make sure that you do is compact it in as much as possible. I'm going to roll that over and then I'm going to pop it off into the freezer. That's been in the freezer for only about 10 minutes, so it should be starting to firm up, but it's still not quite completely firm. You can see there it's holding its shape quite nicely. So I'm gonna use this opportunity just to try and make it as round as possible now. So I'm just rolling it back and forth, still on that parchment paper, and so that I don't get a new seam in it when I do refreeze it, I'm gonna bring it all the way back here to the very, very beginning of my parchment, and then roll it back up again and put it back in the freezer till it's really firm. When your little main sushi roll is completely set, you should be able to essentially pick it up without having it flop or anything like that. That's what you're looking for. Now I'm gonna cut mine into sushi sized pieces. So you wanna just cut off the two ends and I wanna do a combination of small, regular sized sushi pieces and then the longer sort of tall sized sushi pieces. Once you've cut them, you just wanna take your fingers and you just wanna really just round them out and make sure they're as neat as they can be and that you don't have any jagged edges and then you can set them off to the side. And then with these little bits, you just wanna grab them and we're just gonna kind of roll them out. So I'm gonna sandwich them in between the baking paper and push them down. I'm actually gonna use a little rolling pin just to smooth them out because you want these as thin as they can be so they look realistic. I'm actually just gonna use my knife and I just want to cut like a long rectangle shape and I'm going to make those little bits of seaweed that go over the top of the tofu or the little fish pieces that you see. So I just want to cut four or five nice long thin lengths. With my round pieces sorted, I'm going to do my little square pieces. So I'm just taking a shortbread biscuit and I'm going to cut it in half. And then I'm also going to prepare a piece of tofu, which is going to be one of my Starburst candies. So with my Starburst, I'm just going to unwrap them and then I'm going to squeeze and kind of stretch. So you're sort of like pulling them out into the shape of a long rectangle, just like a bit of tofu. Using a fork in my melted chocolate, I'm going to pop one of my shortbread biscuits straight in. I'm going to dip it down and then I'm going to flip it and kind of just dab off any excess. And these little guys I'm going to use the coconut on. So this is desiccated coconut that we get in Australia, but either coconut or some nice sort of longish white sprinkles works here. 
and then I'll just pop it down on my board or you can pop it down on a little bit of baking paper. So I'm just going to use my knife to slide it off. And then before that starts to dry, I want to add my tofu and then sliding my knife under gently with one of my little seaweed strips. I'm going to lift that up and I'm just going to wrap it over the top. That is my first piece of sushi. I'm going to repeat that again for my little fish. It's exactly the same process, except we're going to add a fish instead of a piece of tofu. So those are your two little square pieces of sushi. They're ready to go. I'm not going to move them around now until that chocolate's completely set. Now for the rest of mine, I'm going to use these little jubes and I'm just going to chop them up with a pair of scissors. So just into small pieces, but essentially I want a piece of red, a piece of green and a piece of yellow on each of my little pieces of sushi. Take one of your small pieces of sushi now and just a teaspoon and I'm going to use that white chocolate again as a little bit of a glue. So make sure that you're just putting enough on that it's not actually going to ooze out over the sides but it's going to be enough that you can stick your little treats to the top. So as I put it on I don't actually bring it all the way out to the side of the piece of sushi because I want to have a little bit of room in case it decides to adventure out anywhere when I put on my little pieces of vegetable. On goes my green, my red and my yellow. And then you want to come over to your little non pareils and quickly before that white chocolate starts to melt, you're just going to sprinkle those all over the top. With my small sushis done and my rectangle sushis done, I'm going to do the tall ones. I'm going to do the exact same process, so a little blob of that white chocolate on top. So I'm just going to use little red round sprinkles for these. They're kind of like a large-ish round sprinkle. And when you put these sprinkles on, you kind of want to put them on with a little bit of precision because you need them all to be as close together as possible. All right, now once again, working quite quickly, we're just gonna put a little bit more of those little tiny sprinkles around the edges and in the middle to add the illusion of just a little bit of rice. If you happen to get any of these little non pareils sort of stuck in between your little pieces of fish row, you just wanna let that completely set and then you can use a toothpick just to kind of dive them out. This looks so much like real sushi, I would almost think it was if I didn't know that it was made of cookies, milk chocolate and cream. If you ask me, that's my perfect kind of balanced lunch. If you're not already following me on social media, it's My Cupcake Addiction on Instagram, My Cupcake Addiction on Facebook, where I upload new short videos every single day. And of course, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel for two new videos every week. Thanks very much for watching, guys. It's time for lunch.